welcome back to my channel this week i'm just doing a casual cozy reading vlog today is monday i'm currently reading the seven year slip by ashley poston i am loving it so far i started this yesterday and i'm on page 156 i was just like flying through the book like the more that i saw i was like okay the next chapter is not that long i'm just gonna read it and then i just kept reading it and reading it and reading it and reading it And reading it this is about a girl named clementine her and her aunt were like best friends they were really really close her aunt passes away unfortunately her aunt has always said something involving with magic in her life and in this apartment months after her aunt has passed away clementine starts living in her aunt's apartment and when she walks in there's this man there and she's like okay what are you doing here who are you come to find out that man is from seven years in the past and clementine is seven years in the future but only in that apartment you kind of see how that plays out and like how their relationship is going to work you can see like the difficulty kind of play out because they're in different timelines i'm kind of like in the middle of it and i don't know what to expect because i hear so many good things about this book because i know there's like a deeper thing going on so i'm gonna get some reading done right now before i have to go to class <laughs> don't know how to do like casual reading vlog I, I always do like the same stuff and like there's always like a reading challenge going on i want to do more talking parts of the vlog but i also like we need the reading vlog portion of me just reading with music let me know what you like better i'm back home I'm still reading this so much has happened in the first half that i don't know what to expect for the second half i don't know if i'm like prepared for it because like knowing how people's reactions with this book have been i, I really just don't know what to expect i also also started last night actually and then i read a little bit today throttled by lauren asher this is the first book in the dirty air series as you guys know i love lauren asher i talk about it every single chance that i can get this is the series before the dreamland billionaire series decided because i love lauren asher so much i was like let's just let's read it throttled is a f1 formula one racing sport type series so there's this girl named maya and i guess the trope is with her and her brother's rival so her brother is an f1 racer am so it's like forbidden love i have heard that the last two books in the series are better than the first two. Oh, i wanted to talk about my reading goal at the beginning of the year i set myself to read 15 books by the summer i finished that but like from january to like april may i wasn't reading a lot like i read like one or two books a month so then i really 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 started reading this year once school ended in the summer so i reached my goal within summertime so then i changed my reading goal to 20 then to 25 and then i left it at 30. I passed that. I'm at 40 books now. So from the end of summer till now, I finished my reading goal and I think I can go more. I was definitely wanting to have a reading goal for the rest of the year to be 50. I didn't want to like overdo it and stuff. So I was like, okay, next year, 2024, my reading goal is going to be 50 books. And I was like, if I'm reading at the same rate that I'm reading right now, and that is only like a little bit more than half the year I was reading at this rate that I'm reading at, then maybe I can do more than 50. So I'm like, maybe I can do 100 books books to read for 2024 I think that I can definitely do it if I continue to read at the rate that I'm reading right now. I have school and stuff, but it's like less than high school. Even though the workload is different, but like the class scheduling and everything. I'm taking one less class next semester than I am right now. I can make the time to do it. Okay, so I decided to start doing this thing again that I did over the summer. Every single day, I'm going to discipline myself and read a nonfiction book and take book notes on it. But I can't stop reading until I have one page full of notes taken down today was my second day of doing that again so i did today's already currently reading all about love by bell hooks i have read the introduction of this over the summer i read chapters one two and three today so these were my notes that i got from it i kind of like jump around from different non-fiction books because i kind of feel like i have to be in the mood to read a certain one to be like okay this is what i specifically want to learn about right now so the other day i read they say i say i really like this so far there's that splendid
Okay guys, I probably shouldn't be vlogging while I'm driving. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. But I'm at a red light. Anyway, um, I'm going to school right now and I read a little bit of the seven year slip this morning. I'm very tempted to get a Spotify premium because right now I have premium, but not really. Like I have the student discount version that technically isn't really like it doesn't give you the free audiobooks like premium would i don't want to do that just in case if i don't Go like ask. audiobooks because i really don't know if i do i really like the seven year slip like i've been saying i just love her writing i don't know something about how like detailed it is is really getting me so i'm gonna read once i get into the parking lot of school because i'm a little early so. okay i'm at school now i think i'm gonna go in to school right now even though my class isn't for another 20 minutes maybe i'll read one chapter i think we're gonna do that i also parked right next to my brother's truck and i know that he's gonna come out here when i have to go into class i'm gonna read like a chapter because the chapter that i'm on right now is kind of long this is my last full week of being 18 my birthday is december 15th i don't really know what i'm doing i don't have anything planned i don't really want to do anything because 19 is kind of just like a meh type age 18 is this you become an adult and then 20 is like okay you're 20 i just heard the tiktok sound in my head and i hated that but like 19 is like it feels like a filler age honestly i digress i'm gonna get some reading done So today is Wednesday. Sorry if you can hear the heater in the house going on. I ended up finishing reading The Seven Year Slip. Flew by so fast. I am rating The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston a four star. I really loved it. It was very, very cute and very fluffy. But at the same time, it had that sad aspect of like these two people met in different timelines. They want to be with each other and all that. There's all these difficulties that occur because of the different timeline. Very, very interesting to read that. There's a lot of quotes in here that I really, really liked. You kind of see see what the message is in the book that change is okay if you don't like quote spoilers then just skip 10 seconds but if not that nothing lasts forever not the good thing not the bad so just find what makes you happy and do it for as long as you can you only live once no matter how much time you get it's still never enough if you do it right once is all you need it's literally just like oh just that Ah, it was good. So I'm gonna leave in like an hour to go to class and then I think after I'm either deciding I'm going to go to a coffee shop and get some homework done or I'm going to go to Half Price Books, donate my books that I don't want anymore and then I might stop by Target to see where the day takes us. I will show you guys the books that I am planning to unhaul. First I have Something Wicked Comes This Way by Ray Bradbury. I got this book freshman year for a summer assignment for my honors English class. I I didn't read a single page and then come to find out my teacher was like it's optional i don't really care this was like way before i got into reading i just i'm not gonna read it the hate you give by angie thomas i read this book a long long time ago i really liked this book and the movie too but i feel like other people definitely need to read this book so the sun and her flowers popular poetry book that went around years ago the next two books are like life devotions and stuff like that next is every summer after by carly fortune Next, okay, I'm kind of iffy about donating this, but I think I'm just gonna do it because it's been a year and a half since I got the book and I haven't even like had the urge to pick it up. And that's better than the movies by Lynn Painter. The next one is Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. This was like one of the first books that I bought ever when I started reading, like really reading. Doesn't seem intriguing as much as it used to. The next is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. This is also one of the first books that I got when I first started reading. Not for me. And then the last one is Credence by Penelope Douglas. And upset. My next book that I'm reading is going to be Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the second book in the Natural series. I am at Half Price Books right now. I'm gonna turn in all of my books and then I know that's gonna take some time exchange to get my money for that. So I'm gonna bookshop in the meantime. If I don't find a book, then it'll be okay because I'm gonna go to Target after. I have a good amount of books, but I don't expect to get a lot of money from it. Um, I've never done this before. Taking myself on a little solo date. I'm kind of nervous. No, I'm not. They're like processing all my books to get a price for me that I'm in. So they added new ones since I last time I was here, like a week and a half ago. That was
was not a success. I showed you the amount of books I was giving away and you know, a lot of the books were old and damaged for crying out loud. I thought that like because of the amount of books was gonna do me some justice, but it did not. I got a total of $12.81, literally what? And I couldn't be there any longer. I was like, okay, we're gonna go to Target. I need to get some stuff and maybe we'll find a book there. I wanna get a Christmas book for some reason. I want like a short one. So hopefully Target has that. It's like right there, so. Wow, I'm like kinda sad about that. That was not worth it. Whatever, I digress. Um, I'm trying to figure out what other books I wanna get. I feel like 330, 315 even, page long romance book is so damn long for no reason. Just get straight to the point. I don't wanna get certain books like that I want to get because I put them on my Christmas wish list so it's like I don't want to risk getting it you know what I mean let's go well they have the Chestnut Spring series but only two of the books but I told myself not to do it because I'm gonna buy the box set they have these Christmas books but all of them are too long this might be cute hmm lame but is this a new book by the same author from the nanny oh my god it started pouring rain when i finished at target i got some groceries i just got cereal milk and i also needed to restock on trash bags and then i got okay they didn't have regular cinnamon rolls but they had hot cocoa rolls marshmallow icing and whatnot i found more christmas books i didn't want to get them what i did get though was local woman missing by mary kubica a bunch of these girls go missing one of them comes back 11 years later so they're just trying to figure it all out i was either going to get that or i was actually gonna get a good girl's guide to murder like i've been wanting to read that for so long yeah i'm gonna go home now